All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Brand Builder TV, where we want to share with you how to brand, market, rise above the noise in your industry in 2020, 21, 22, not 2004. Big, big difference. So uh, I'm excited for this episode because we have real world wisdom coming from the real world. And that's what it's all about. I'm a big fan of wisdom. I believe it trumps knowledge all day long. Um, so I'm excited. Adelise Warren, who um, I believe you're a CEO of a branding uh, marketing agency and also a uh, the marketing mentor. Um, so introduce yourself, give us that 30,000 foot view and then we're going to chop it down. Sure. So yes, that's right. My name's Annalise. As you can hear from the accent, I am down under. And uh, we started our marketing agency about three and a half years ago. And then I started mentoring smaller business owners as well, or people who didn't want to outsource. And so we have a program that helps you to DIY your own marketing. So you get access to my agency team on calls just like this. And we dig in, we get into the back end of the Google ads or Facebook or whatever it is and help you or your team DIY your marketing. Awesome. Let's, let's, um, Let's take them behind that black curtain a little bit, get to know you. Um, so how did this all start three years ago? What made you go down this direction? So I was working for, I was managing a training agency, a training company, and we decided to move from the city back home, which is down by the beach. And it would have meant a really long commute, which just wasn't going to work. We've got three little kids, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> So we decided to take the leap and, and my husband and I run it together. He was a, a contractor. And so we, our agency is primarily focused at, at contractors. And now awesome. within the marketing mentor program, we work with all, with all businesses, whoever, whoever is welcome. So that's, so that's us. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do two hours to work on two hours back. And so that's how it all started. Love it. I love it. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, the power of contrast, right? A lot of people uh, think that contrast or issues um, have to be uh, a problem, but I'm, I'm a big fan of stepping back, looking at that contrast and saying, okay, how can I make that my strongest propeller versus my heaviest anchor? Um, so I, I love that. And to me, that's really the entrepreneurial DNA, right? We figure it out as we go. And a lot of times, um, and I'll be the first one to admit it, I'll jump off the cliff and figure out how to fly on the way down. Um, and that's just, that's part of the DNA. So it sounds like uh, it was a great move on your part, you and your husband's part. Um, how is it working with your spouse? Because I have, I have my own stories uh, with my ex-wife, which was really phenomenal. Yeah, some days are good, <laughs> some days are not so good. <laughs> No, we, we, we're okay. We try and stay in our own lane. We've got very different skill sets and different ways of working. So like figuring that out has yeah. been, been interesting. And it's just kind of, you know, throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks and going, ah, oh, that's not working. All right. Like, what are we going to do? So I think now like three and a half years in, we're pretty, we're pretty okay, but it doesn't mean I don't want to like piff a water bottle at him from across the office every now and then. <laughs> you know, that, that's just the way it is. Right. And that's, that's part of the whole journey. Um, but when you can figure out that niche, you know um, you know, me and my ex-wife, we, she was with me in my first business that I built and sold. And um, it would, it, that actually enhanced our relationship. Um, and we realized going through marriage counseling after I sold the first business into the second business and she went into her own career that um, that actually was one of the biggest, strongest glues that held us together. Because for me, you know, my businesses are my lifestyle. It's, it's, there is no uh, clock. There is no downtime. It's my oxygen. I love it. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's, that's interesting. So um, question for you, what's the difference in your opinion between branding and marketing? Marketing, oh, branding is the reputation, in my opinion. 
foundation. Whether that's of the business or of you, mm-hmm. of you and your personal brand and the marketing is the tactics and the strategy and the let's move people down the buying cycle. Love that it. would be my, that would be my view. Yeah. We're really right on point together with that. I'm a, I believe that the marketing is more the, the short game that needs to be flexible, right? Figure out what, what time are we in to now be able to maneuver around that. But the, but the brand is the, is the foundation, right? That is the long game that people really need to connect with on a long-term um, basis. So you work your, your main uh, clients are contractors. So it's, is that commercial residential, both? Everyone, everyone. It's okay. just, we just, we just picked a niche. So within the agency, that is, mm-hmm. that is our main, um, that is our main client. And it works really well because we know how to talk the talk. We know what works. We can, you know, we have, we have a system and basically kind of wherever we are, we just fit you in on the system and make sure it aligns with the goals. So it's, it's, it's great because we can, Tradies want, and I don't know if tradies, if that word aligns with you, contractors, um, they don't want to think about it. They just want someone to deal with their marketing so that they can run their business. And I guess a lot of business owners are like that, but even more so with people who don't work in front of a computer, they're on the tools and they're out there. They don't want to think about Instagram or, mm-hmm. you know, anything SEO related. Yeah. No, it's, and that's true. So twofold, that's a great um, job security for your firm, right? Um, Because they don't know that. And I love the fact, I'm such a big fan of self-awareness, right? Understanding who you are, what are your strengths? And then more importantly, what are your weaknesses? So you can enhance them with the people in the systems, right? So now you could triple down on your strengths. And that's always been my, in my businesses that I built and sold, I've been the front guy. I've been the guy out there, but I needed people in the back to clean up the mess that I left behind, right? Uh, so we, you could keep rolling and keep, keep moving forward, keep expanding and, and, um, and really uh, um, scaling. Is that a big part of what you mentor and teach is is how to scale um if they do want to do that yeah we are when we're mentoring we're either working with an a marketing team that just would like that consultation support from an agency Mm -hmm. or we are working with service-based business owners like solopreneurs who still kind of want to do it themselves or have a va that's going to do it for them and so it just means that they're not trying to figure it out. So instead of it being like a 12 month journey going, what is the system that's going to work better? We can look in and get our expert eyes on the data and go, this is what we would do. This is how to do it. You know, and just speed up that process. So it's like having a, a consultant in your business. Yeah. 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 On retainer. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, and that's so important in today's world. So you handle the social media, the SEO, uh, email campaigns, things like that. Yeah. So it starts, we'll, we'll do their whole strategy. And if that includes scaling, then yes. Um, sometimes we're working with business owners that are really at the start and they just need to figure out what it is that what their sales funnel is going to be, that's going to work so that then they can scale and then they then they're not going to need us because they've got the system that's that's working yeah and then and then if they do need you down the road they know where to find you which is really good as well so that's uh that that's bringing a lot of value what's your favorite part of your business my favorite part i love it when it's things start to click and people realize that marketing is a combination of art and science Hmm. and it's not just you know, I need to be on Facebook. It's like, well, do you need to be on Facebook? And let's, let's look deeper. So I love digging into the psychology of the, the buyer and what their journey is going to look like and, and helping business owners to make that all click and then seeing it all flow and all the numbers are pretty and mm-hmm. yeah, it's good. It's that, fun. That, that's awesome. That, that combination, like you said, of that creative, right. But then the practical, and how do you marry that? Um, and, and because of so many people are 
um, either usually one or the other um, a little more out of balance. It's identifying that self-awareness and then reverse engineering that. And how do we fill in those uh, in those voids, right? With um, with the team or with the uh, solo uh, panor, like you said. Um, so 2020, 21, 22, what, what, what are some of the, uh, the things that, that businesses need to look out for and be aware of so they don't get lost in the, uh, in the noise? I think more than ever, people buy from people that they, that they like and that they identify with. And so that personal brand part is, is, is so important. It, it just is. And I think having a business that's based on relationships and looking towards collaborations and, and joint ventures is going to be the thing that propels people forward more than, more than anything else, in my opinion. What do you, what do you think? I do. And, and, and I'm even going to, I'm even going to share my thoughts uh, a little deeper and more niched is what we're doing right now. People have to understand the power of podcasts, right? And what has really been happening over the last five years, three years, and you get, and, and obviously I'm going to use an extreme here, but you have a Joe Rogan podcast, right? That reaches millions and millions and millions and hundreds of millions of viewers that now he can now, he became so powerful that now he cut a deal with one platform right? That's going to handle everything for him. And two things that I want the audience to, to, to think about is the power of your own podcast, but also the power of other people's podcasts. Like you said, collaboration. And one of the things, if someone, when I get invited on somebody's podcast, if I can't get my hands on that recording, then I don't want to do it. See, I want to repurpose this. Every, I'm going to squeeze as much juice out of this lemon as I can. Because the other powerful thing about the podcast is, is video, right? How powerful video is. And so many people are so afraid to do a video. But when it's in this format, right? And, and that host knows how to pull that realness out of that person that doesn't feel comfortable. Now you can repurpose that and collaborate right? It's, it's such a powerful win-win. Here's the other thing too, on a side note, because of my other business that we're launching that I'm so excited about is the Joe Rogan deal opened, is going to open up so many doors for people in the video world. Once the first of 2021 hits, Spotify has to buy an existing platform for video because of the Joe Rogan. What that means now in 21, 22, YouTube isn't the only game in town, right? So now that opens things up for people like me that love video, that love the podcast, that love this world. Um, where we're going to launch Monster Motivator TV, uh, relaunch it and, uh, and take it on our, um, uh, a tour bus, a custom tour bus and just, uh, tour the country. So for me, Again, stepping back, understanding the world we live in and how do you maximize that, right? Um, I want to get your thoughts on this. And that was my rant because I get very excited when we talk about podcast and video, as you can see. Um, there's people out there right now saying, Adelise, Dave, that's great. You might love video, but I hate it. I'm so uncomfortable. That's okay. Figure if you if you're that uncomfortable, right? Figure out who can represent your company and your brand and get it out that way. So talk about that. Yeah, or just be okay with sucking for a little while <laughs> and and True. building on the True. skill. True. Because my, myself, like five years ago, I wanted to get into public speaking, and I was. Awful. I was so like my body, I felt okay, but my body would have this physical shaking reaction. And in my head, I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, and I couldn't, I couldn't talk. And it just took me like being 
really bad <laughs> for a really long time. And now I, now I'm fine. And now I can, I can speak. I run five day workshops. Um, you know, I, I can get on video with people I've never met. I'm not nervous. I can do lives. I can do whatever. And sometimes it's just like a skill, like anything else. Mm. And I think if the mindset is the long game, like we're talking about branding being the long game and it, it, the mindset is I'm here to serve and I'm here to do something and I, I need to get that out. Well, then your eyes are on the vision and your eyes are on the people that you're serving mm. and it's less about you and how you feel. Cause then you can just kind of get over it. And then it's a skill like anything else. You're not going to be great at it until like babies are not, can't walk, right? They fall and they fall and they fall. And if you go back and watch my videos, I'm sure they're somewhere from I don't know two years ago. They're pretty bad and that's okay because we all have to start somewhere. And, and I, I think you're absolutely right. And, and even go a little deeper on that point, which is perfect is let's help them even a little more for the people that are terrified um, to get in front of that camera in today's world, in today's climate, they want to see you drop the camera. They want to see you hiccup. They want, that's how you do connect. A, a, a buddy of mine, business associate, uh, uh, Bedros Koulian, who is the CEO of a Fit Body Bootcamp, he, when he does his Monday morning uh, motivations from his truck on his way into his headquarters, right? That's been blown away all the professionally done videos at his headquarters and his team of seven or eight people are going wild. They're going, how can this be? Because people want the real, they want to know who you are and they, and they do want to be brought behind that black curtain. And I believe that's why Instagram stories and Facebook stories have just exploded over the last two and three years because people want that realness um, without all the professional uh, fluff. Yeah. And again, it comes back to people want to buy from people and yeah. people that they like and people that have the same values as them. And especially the millennial generation is, is more buying from a value based perspective. And so they want to know what you're about and they want to know that, you know, they, they want to know that it's not just a green screen and a, and a bright camera and shiny lipstick. And then, you're a totally different person two minutes later. So yeah, yeah I totally agree. Yeah. And, 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 um, case in point, look at my appearance, look at my brand, who would think 10, 15 years ago that I'd be, uh, booked on stages around the country for keynotes. Right. I, I literally was booked in, in Boston last year. And when I got there and I got to the hotel and went to the, uh, I was walking down the, the, the hallway to do the, uh, to do the keynote and the event planner goes, Oh my God, thank God. I go, I go, what's the matter? And I'm looking behind me and like, what's the matter? She goes, you look like your pictures. I said, yeah, this is who I am. She goes, well, that's why we booked you. We need to wake these people up. We need something new. We need. So it's about understanding who you are, embracing that and running with it. Right. And letting the chips fall where they may. And I think that to me is like been the biggest change over the last 10 years in business because of social media. Yeah. Yeah. And that's great because then you're not pretending to be something that you're not. You, the people that are attracted to you are the people that yeah. you are attracted to as well. Yeah. And it's, and it's fun. It, yes. it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's, it becomes your tribe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, and if we look back, um, I think the start of this whole thing right before social media really exploded, obviously was the, the reality shows, right? Why did they start to, and, and look, we all, most people know, and if you don't know in Hollywood, <laughs> it's not all reality, right? It's back then it was still, um, <laughs> uh, produced, uh, very strongly, but the point is, before the reality shows exploded, it was always sitcoms, right? Or uh, things of that sort. But when reality came on the scene, people just ate it up because they, they want to feel that connection. They, and now we took it to another level with social media, with Instagram stories, with TikTok, with um, even you know LinkedIn. Let me ask you this. What's your thought on... There's two trains of thoughts. What's your thought on making sure 
or how important I should say are the platforms and your message? Yeah, I think you have to be where your customers are. So once you know who you want to serve, then if they're on LinkedIn, then that's where you need to go. Or, and they, but you can still be you on LinkedIn and you can still have your message, but you, you just want to be, you just want to be where your people are. Right. Right. And I, I'm a believer in that. And I know that there's a lot of very successful branding, marketing people, gurus out there that believe that you should be on all of them, but focusing on where the majority of them are, but more importantly, their message is, but the message has to cater to that platform. And, um, me personally, um, I just, I just don't, I just don't think it's that important. Um, I think that, I think more the, I think the realness is more important than anything. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say change your message based on platform. Mm -hmm. I would think that you and your message is the same and you're just taking that to wherever your customer is, whether, because people are still people. It's not like people turn into something different when they happen to be on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Like if you've, if you, your message connects with your audience, then it doesn't matter where you find them. You just have to find them. Mm -hmm. And then, and that's where you go. And, and, and I, I'm agreement with that. And, for a whole nother point as well is listen, we're in social media. You, nobody's hard to find. So if you are putting a message out on LinkedIn that you want to be this professional and, and you want to create a brand on LinkedIn, but then all of a sudden someone goes to your Facebook or goes to your Instagram and it's, it's polar opposite. I think that's going to do more harm than good. Yeah. Let, let's, if you're going to do that, let's have your Instagram on private. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. And then, and then what are you doing on social media then anyway, the private yeah. kills me. It's social media. What do you, if you don't want to be there, don't be there. But this, the whole private button kills me. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um, where do you see your firm in the next, uh, three to five years? Um, I see the agency just ticking along because, because it does. And that's, and that's great. And I see the marketing mentor program growing because I know okay. it, it's a service that so many people need, especially when, when they're getting started to get really great, like to get really great marketers in your business, it's really expensive. And to have access to a team that you can pick and choose what you need to work on. I think it's a really, it's a good solution to, to that problem when you're not entirely sure what you're going to do. Like you don't know if Facebook ads are going to be the best thing. So do you invest tens of thousands of dollars in Facebook ads or do you kind of test a few different things in that kind of format? So for us, we're getting our clients really great results. I think it's a really, I haven't seen anyone else doing it in this way. Um, and so I see that really scaling that one up. And when you say you don't see other firms doing what you're doing in, in that way, give us that definition. Give us, give us a little more clarity on that. So what, we, what we're doing is you can log in and you can now screen share your, the back end of your Google ads. And we are saying, okay, this is what we're seeing. This is what we would do. And then we have a platform with like the how-to videos or we can help you on the, on the call. Okay. And I don't know of other agencies that are giving away their secrets for free, <laughs> not for free, for, like, right. for a paid right. membership, but giving away their secrets so that other people can DIY. Most digital agencies that I see are very closed, closed door like you know this is my ip and i think like i'm all for small business we're a small business i know how hard it is to get started especially if you're really great at your thing and your thing isn't marketing mm. so i have a heart for small business and i want to and i want to help and i think everyone deserves this knowledge and it doesn't have to just be surface level or general that you can get it like, anyway, I don't know. I'm, my, I'm, I'm rambling, <laughs> no, no, but no, I you're, think you're clear. Um, yeah. So I think, and I haven't seen anyone else doing this because you have to be really good at what you do because you have the client in front of you and you have to look at that data in real time mm -hmm. and give them information 
about that in real time and and give them a solution so you have to be able to to do that and i haven't seen i haven't seen it being offered that's awesome no that was very clear actually um that's why i wanted to go there with you to make sure people yeah. are clear on what you do and what you offer so you have the mentor program and then you also they also could have access to your actual people right um that, on that a is, that, yeah yeah on that, a retainer. That, is, that, is, that is the mentor program is they oh. get access my team so me oh, and my team okay yeah so they then, log into the, this calls every day and if they want google ads they log into the google ads call and it's 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 a group call and they everyone gets their turn and and we're done okay i got you okay and then um are, are you um on the other end of that your business are you handling uh, companies that are that are uh promoting and, and marketing and branding products as well or just services we do do products inside the marketing mentor program, but most are service based. Okay. Okay. Is there a reason why? Um, I think, well, I don't know, actually. No, I guess because, because contractors are service based and we're service based that maybe that's just who connects okay. um, the most, but we do have some e-commerce businesses in there. As, as well. So we don't, we don't discriminate if we think that it, if we think that the business is a good fit um, and there is an application process, then, and we think we can actually help, then yeah, yeah we'll work with them. The no, whatever type of business. Okay. And then with the mentor program, is there different packages? No, it's just a month by month, but we, oh. we run it as a 12, we, we run it as a 12 month program. So we can really deep dive in and, and help through the results. So there's a 12 month commitment. 12 months. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, is there anything before, uh, before we jump off that I didn't talk about or touch on that you want to share? I don't think so. I, that was really fun. I think we, we covered a lot, so okay. I appreciate it. Awesome. Where can everyone find you? Everyone can find me probably the best places on Instagram. So Annalise dot Warren, it's a double N E L I S E dot W O R N. Okay. And we will make sure that we get that address from you as well when we do the, uh, the uh, clips for the uh, social media and then you can uh, blast them out. And I want to thank you for taking the time and jumping on here and sharing your, your real world wisdom and taking us a little bit behind that black curtain. Thanks so much for having me, Dave. Oh, absolutely. Guys, as always, you're getting value from this show. Jump on our YouTube, share it, um, like, you know the whole routine. Uh, get it out there and um, jump on our YouTube. Ask questions when we uh, post this this show, this episode on there. And, uh, and we will alert everyone when we start to uh, blast it out. And as always, we do it one way around here, Monster Motivator style, baby. 